Hey everyone, welcome to week two of Wildlife Wednesdays. My name is Andres Rosales, and this week we're going to be talking about bird adaptations. Let's get into it. I'm here at Government Canyon State Natural Area. Pretty soon, we're going to be talking about birds' beaks and their adaptations. But first, let's go over the plan of the week. Here at Government Canyon, we have many different species of birds, each one having their own unique adaptations. Well, what is an adaptation? Adaptations are inherited characteristics that an organism inherits from their, op from their parent. These adaptations help increase this chance of survival in the wild. Well, why are adaptations important? Adaptations are important because without them, populations would easily die off in their environment. Environments are always changing, whether it's due to natural causes or human development. I'm about to show a scene from the movie Spies in Disguise that shows the different in adaptations from birds to humans. It's okay, buddy. Hey, it's okay. Don't you worry. Your good friend Walter is... Ah! Subject appears disoriented. Ah, uh, of course I'm disoriented. You can talk? Uh, Lovey, he can talk. It worked. My eyes. It worked. Uh, what did you did do you to my this? eyes? Hey, Lance, what? look uh, at me. Look at you? I can't not look at you, Walter. I can see my butt and your face at the same time. That is so cool. Fact, pigeons have 360 degree vision. Now nobody can sneak up behind you. Stop, girl, come this on. This is so great. Pigeons can be found in every major city around the world and no one notices them. It's the most perfect form a spy could take. As you may have noticed, Lance turned into a pigeon. He's freaked out at the fact that he can see his own butt and Walter's face at the same time. This is something that pigeons have adapted to in their own environment. Now let's take a closer look at some commonly found birds here at Government Canyon State Natural Area. Here is a northern flicker. This is a woodpecker that winters here at Government Canyon. It's a very beautiful bird. If you look at his beak, it's very sharp and thin. This helps him to peck at the wood and get stuff like worms or grubs out of trees. This is one of my favorite. This is an American kestrel. This is the smallest falcon in North America. So if you look at its beak, it's pointy and sloping and this helps grab and eat prey. Also if you look at its talons, they're very sharp. Much like the northern flicker. Many of you probably know this one. This is a morning dove. If you look at his beak, it's very thin, sharp, and has a little curve right here. And this is perfect for getting not only insects, but fruits and nuts and seeds. This bird's very common practically everywhere around Texas. All right, here is a indigo bunting. Much like a painted bunting, which we'll see later in the video. But he's very bright blue. This one's very small. If you look at their beak, they're a thick, pointy beak. This is good for getting seeds or any sort of nuts. Here's a video of a female black-chinned hummingbird. This is a beautiful bird commonly found here at Government Canyon. She's feeding on Turk's cap, which also happens to be the plant of the week. Her beak is specialized to feed on nectar and flowers. So if you look at her beak, it's very narrow and pointy, and this is perfect for feeding on flowers. This is how she has adapted to environment. Black-chinned hummingbirds were also in the pre-activity scavenger hunt, so hopefully you found one. Here's a video I took of a female painted bunting taking a bath. Here's a male painted bunting. Male painted buntings are very different from females with a blue head, a red belly, and a green back. This particular male is feeding on some grass and this is a perfect way 
to see how painted buntings use their beaks in the wild. These birds' beaks are perfect for seeds, which is most of their diet year-round. Here's a video of a female northern cardinal and when we get a closer look at this cardinal you can tell that it has a very large and thick beak. This is good for cracking big seeds or also picking up um, insects. This is a very versatile beak. These amazing photos were taken at Government Canyon by Jessica Bergner. This week's pre-activity is a scavenger hunt. This allows you to go outdoors and find some really cool birds in your neighborhood. This week's post-activity is an experiment you can do at home to help you have a better understanding of how birds use their beaks in the wild. That's all we have time for this week. Be sure to tune in next Wildlife Wednesday where we talk about bugs and food webs. Thank you.